on, Ken. Stop talking telephone numbers, mate, all right? You, you haven't had a better offer than this, no way. Oh, fair enough, fair enough, I remember that, mate. That was Ken Hyde. He's had a better offer for them motors, apparently. Hey, listen, I've got bigger fish to fry right now, OK? Have you heard anything on Cat and Kush? What's his problem? Oh, bigger fish, apparently. Our name used to mean something, and now look, I mean, even Sharon is taking us to the cleaners. I mean, if we roll over any more, Callum, we might as well be sleeping on the floor. Something's got to be done. Yeah, we'll leave Sharon to Phil. This ain't about Sharon. Now, since that job went wrong, no one wants to deal with us. We have got a grass, and everyone knows it. I'm going to find out who ticked off the police, and I'm going to find out who put a bug in the arches, and I'm going to do it today. Look, Jean, I um, I know I'm not exactly on your uh, on your Christmas card list. <laughs> well, to be fair, I'm not really on many people's Christmas card list. But I just, I just wanted to see how you were holding up, you know, with um, Cat and Kush being gone. You, you know, if you know if there's anything that you need, anything that you need help with, I could, you know where I am, don't you? Look, have you uh, have you heard from them, Cat and Kush? You know, you know where they. Where they gone? If I knew where they were, why on earth would I tell you? Your poison, and Mitchell. To my whole family. Oh, to everyone. Cat and Kush. Have you played that tune already? Who else could it be, Cat? What are you gonna do, Ben? Well, just arrest the whole family. If you're innocent, you don't do a runner, do you? The truth always catches up to you in the end, Callum. 